Do you know about Don Dre Woolridge or anything? Okay. <laughs> I mean, he was the last All-American before you. I didn't know if he had known that or knew anything about his game. No idea. Huh? Which of these postseason awards are you most proud of? Winning an NCAA tournament. How about the academic award? Nice accomplishment, but at the end of the day, I'm looking for our team to win. What's it going to take to for you guys to win in Indianapolis? Just, just play together and really play with that, play with that flow that we when we play well. We're playing with that flow, and that's what we need. Feel like Jared, everybody looks at, um, I guess, yourself and Peter as far as they think of the offensive side of the ball for you guys, but how big is it for you guys to know that in a key spot, we've seen Mike Gazelle have no fear about taking a big shot in the Big. I mean, he's a, he's our point guard, and you got guys like you guys got like Mike Sapp, other guys that step up and make big shots. I mean, that's huge. You know, Pete and I take most of the shots, but when you get guys who can in key situations drain a three, you know, get to the basket, you know, Mike get in the lane, you know, make a big play. It's huge for us. Talk about the, the confidence and did it help to get that win heading into the end of this tournament. It was a great win against a good opponent. I mean, Michigan's a really good team, and it, it helped with our confidence and it really get us back on track. What about having a senior-laden team heading into it? I think it helps being through it. And shoot, in the last two years we've lost in the first round, so we're looking to come out and, and make a run. What did you learn from those two losses? You can't lose, otherwise you're out. <laughs> what did the Michigan game do for your confidence? You you had been struggling, obviously, and that, do you feel that kind of broke you out of it? It's good to see the shots going. I knew they would eventually. That's just the reality of the situation. I'm not that bad of a shooter. So I knew they were going to go in sooner or later. Are you the type of guy that gets down on yourself during that, those ty types when, when things aren't going well? And how do you kind of get through them? Yeah, I try not to get, get down on myself. I just kept telling myself, it's going to come. You just can't try to force it. You know, and Swiss, you know, sure enough, it did come. Is that hard to do, to not force things? When you yeah. like that? Absolutely. You know, when, when things are flowing for you, things are coming easy. You know, when you don't make a couple of shots that you should, you miss a couple of wide open shots, and then layups and contested shots don't come as easy.